presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Uh, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, too, folks. Disconcern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally, then we react by sending emotional poison with our word. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. I have to read that card a few more times, even though I've been reading now these uh, maybe about 15 years. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 195, NASDAQ up 22, SP's up 11 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down a buck forty at 1965 an ounce. We got silver down 30, uh, up 39 cents at $23.53 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 80, $76.47 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note down 21 ticks, trading 108.07. 30 year up a full point plus six ticks at 114.08 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading. Up 355 ticks at 104,408. The euro is at 108. The yen is trading at 151. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. <coughs> Excuse me. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you have a market that wants higher price. You got an ABC structure up, confirmed ABC that is, and on the S and P's that's uh, the spy rather that's 462. Now you can see what happened. You took the you, on Monday. Well, let's go like this. So on Friday, what you did is you took the B point out and you took it out with volume, and that gave us an ABC structure up to the 462 mark. Yesterday, the CPI comes in, comes in light. You get another sign of strength. You get a you know, gap higher. Bottom line, you know, 449. We're 12 points away, away from an ABC structure up now. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Also confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Now, the NDX has always, you know, been stronger than the uh, S&P. Right now, we hit 370, you know, three. 387.75 would hit thus far. The, the last high that was out here is three, and last six months ago is that 387, uh, what is that? 80 or something, okay? Is that 80? Yeah, we hit that far away. No, 98. Three, three, 97.98. Now, on the Qs, you're talking about a 402. So if we take a look at this, you know, you're talking about a 402. Now, this is what's cool. Now, watch this, folks, okay? Because this is what's going to be really important. Okay. So I have this on a weekly now, right? Today's Wednesday, okay? Now, if we took out the, we just get a little bit higher, meaning we, we take out the 387, two eighty. Yeah, it's going to be the 387.98. 
And if we take it out with volume, let me see this. You're going to have a monster ABC up. So let me see this right now. So we're going to need 382 million. You're at 150. Doesn't look like it could get it this week. So, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. We know we get an ABC structure up now to 402. But you can see this, there's, a, there's, a larger, there's a larger structure here, you know, right there. That structure is pretty intense. Because when you even look at that structure, watch this. Where are you? Right there. So this leg here, yeah, the last leg we had up in the NASDAQ only did a 0.382 retracement. So if it does take it out with volume, that's going to be one large ABC structure up. That will blow away the highs. Pretty intense, man. There's no doubt. Now, check, it, check this out. This is going to be really cool. Now, watch this. I never knew there was such a thing, but what, what do you, I want to show you something here for a second. So here's the 10-year note, okay? So my take is that, you know, we're going higher price, lower yield. But guess what? What makes the market is that there's plenty of folks that think that interest rates have not peaked yet. Okay? You can see yesterday, huge sign of strength. You know, yesterday we did uh, 2.5 million contracts. Today are 2.1. Now, let me show you why we're at 2.1. If you're watching Tiger TV, I'm going to put this up here. If, in, if you're not, if you're in the car, remember that this is archived. Well, what this is, folks, is that these all these trades that you you see an appetite to fade the treasury these are all shot positions that will put on bottom line this morning okay because and they will block trades and they, they're done I, i'll go through this but you want to see these sizes here folks this is thousands of contracts at at the basically, you know, they, they're giving you the, the numbers and what they were, 10-year, 5-year, 2-year. They're, you know, they're doing the whole ball of wax. But check out what this is. Bond traders reload bets on high yields after massive rally. Rate traders are pulling back into the, are piling back into the bets on higher U.S. Treasury yields after a huge rally on Treasuries gave them a more attractive price. Wednesday's session kicked off in Asia with a flurry of large, privately ne negotiated transactions known as block sales in the futures market, linked to the Treasury bonds. Block sales in Asia session were followed by further shot wages on the five and ten year contracts in New York, trading as yields rose after a stack of mixed economic data at 8.30 a.m. The trades help explain Wednesday's rebound in yields following Tuesday's inflation river rally. It's pretty cool, man, just thinking that that's, that's how this is. Now, if I go back to this chart, okay, what this chart is saying is that you're up on volume, you're still coming back with lighter volume, higher prices are still coming at you. So another big surprise with another rally, you could have all those have to be closed again. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Industries is up 203, Nasdaq's up 30, S&Ps are up uh, 14. So let's go take a look at a few stocks for a couple of the Tigers. The first one's going to be Disney out here. So if we take a look at Disney, you can you know see bottom line is that uh, what? Even in three weeks, we've gone from uh, 75, uh, 79 to 94. Now watch this. This is really cool, man. This is like crazy. So when you talk about testing a high volume low. Watch this. This is like nuts. It actually tested it. So the high volume low that we're talking about here is a 79, a, say a 79.07. And where do we get? 78.72. Volume here, 615 million. We test it with 245. Okay, so hard to comprehend, man. I'm telling you straight down from that, but that was the high volume low from March, you know, and I talked about this in a lot of equities, and a lot of them hit it, man, which is like crazy. Now, the question is, where is it going to go? So this is a kind of nice setup, man, because what you have now is that you already broke. You can see that that's a break with conviction of the downtrend. See, you see the spike in volume? It's huge, man. So that said, the next move is to this 118 level, and you're at 94 right now. And because you already tested the lows, you know, my take is you're not going back to the lows. So you take, you're going to take it step by step on the way up now. And the big flack, you know, you really shouldn't get huge flack on this thing until about actually 140. That's what it looks like. Like right there. Ice, where it really broke down. Pretty intense. And Disney's going to be looking for... So next year, they're looking for $93 billion and $4.51. So they're making plenty of money, man. They're definitely making plenty of money. Amazon. Let's go take a look at Amazon for a couple of the targets out here. Okay, so Amazon, the low for the year is 81. The high is 147. You know, that's last last 52 weeks. That's... That high is today, and we take a look at Amazon out here.
put this on a monthly first. Okay. Oh, this could get interesting. Look at this. Okay. Put this on a weekly first. Because you might have... Okay, it's not going to be an ABC up. Okay, it's not an ABC up. Okay, so on a monthly... Well, you already got into... See, you already broke... Ice where it broke down. So this is saying Amazon wants to, you know, get up into this level of... Uh, you're at 143. We're talking about the one... Yeah, we're talking about the 180 level. That's that's the next leg uh, out in Amazon. And when we, when we take a look at the numbers out here, they're going to be looking... So the next quarter is the big quarter, $165 billion. They're looking to do $22 billion more than the quarter before that and bring $0.78 cents to the bottom line. You can see how this w works, which is, you know, they have more expenses... You know, because everything has to go faster. Because you can see they, they made $0.82 cents in the context of only taking $143 billion in. Now they're going to make $0.78, cents, $0.04 cents less, taking $165 billion. For the year, next year, three fifty nine. And Amazon's still growing by leaps and bounds also. Pretty amazing, actually. It's, especially for a company that's taken in so many billions. It's, it's amazing. It's like over the top. Inside the Dow Industrial, let's go actually look at the Dow Industrials for a second. IMDU. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so the Dow. Put this on weekly. I put it on monthly. Same type of setup as the other day. You know, we, they're going to be going, the Dow is going to be going after a B point also of a potential uh, ABC structure on the way up. We'll see whether it gets the volume, but that's how that's set up right now. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here and see what we got. So, Apple. <laughs> you know, Jacob was talking about this yesterday. This is pretty amazing that Apple... You know, you have the Google antitrust trial going on right now. And what came out, and this was, of course, one of the trade secrets, that when they were at trial, everything wants to be a trade, trade secret. But anyway, what it is, is that when you take a look at Google, that they collected, Apple collected $19 billion last year on the revenue sharing agreement. 36% app, Google gives them 36% on this whole Safari thing because the Safari is hooked into Google. So <laughs> it's like unbelievable when you actually think about it. And this is where, you know, you have Google taking in 255 billion a year and Apple, Take it in three hundred and eighty three billion a year. You know. And you talk about a lucrative deal. I mean that's that's about as lucrative as, as you can get. That all you do is you let someone else take over your search and you get paid nineteen billion dollars. And you're getting thirty six percent and that's gross. That's pretty lucrative deal all around. Wouldn't you love to do that? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Inside the NDX, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You get JD.com's up 7.5%. Yeah, Hong Kong was up almost 3% last night. Illumina was up 4.5%. Moderna's up 3.5%. Taken away from it, Vertex Pharmaceuticals off 5.5%. You get Constellation off 3.5%. Uh, Cadence Design is off 7. Let's look at Cadence here. What's going on with Cadence here? Let's see. Well, this is an all-time high right now today. So. 
Even though it went down, look at this. 52 week high. Yep. There she is. No kidding around there, man. Pretty amazing. The thing that's also amazing is that the, this, this market in general, see the numbers are coming in soft, folks. That's the bottom line. Numbers meaning if you have the CP, the CPI came in soft. You had the PPI coming out here this morning. That was kind of soft. Uh, you keep getting soft, softer numbers and, you know, this dollar's going to get destroyed more. And markets are going to go higher. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 150, 181 Nasdaq's up 12, S&P's up 9.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industrial is up 204, Nasdaq's up 21, S&Ps are up uh, 13. Okay, let's go over to Vista. Uh, Okay, Vista Gold. So we had a couple questions here, and I am going to have Fred on, but it's not going to be till after Christmas. I mean, after Thanksgiving, because he's just coming on his way back to Australia. So Vista lows thirty cents, the high seventy-five. We take a look at this, and one of the tigers was saying, "Yeah, we get volume down at these lows, you know." And what does it mean? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is that first off. 
technically, I'm going to put this up here so you can take a look at this thing. Because I believe it was 28 cents that can get tested. It's in here. It's like 28, 26 cents. Those, those are down there. There's no doubt about it, okay? And you can see, you know, yeah, the test can be on lighter volume. Now, that being said, I want to read to you what, what happens, folks, is that when I go over to Fred, there's another person with him, Pam Solly, who's in charge of investor relations. And I was explaining the, you know, the questions we're getting on the air, too. Okay, so this is what uh, uh, she basically wrote back to me. Uh, there's some stuff at the beginning that Fred's coming back from Australia. I, we're going to get him on. The markets are indeed challenging for junior miners, and Vista is no exception. Tax selling isn't helping either. Now, what happens up in Canada, folks, they get quite a credit for tax selling, you know, much better than we do in the, the U.S., particularly in the mining sector because the mining sector is so big up in Canada. But I don't know what they get. We believe the additional pressure on Vista share is due to the uncertainty of timing of the potential transaction and our cast position. As part of our work with CB, CIBC, that's, that's the broker dealer in the banker that's trying to put something together for them, we continue to explore transaction opportunities and host Mount Todd site visits with interesting parties. We remain dil diligent in the execution of our strategy to seek an appropriate transaction to maximize shareholder value, but understand the completion of the transaction may be dependent on sustained improvement and stability in the economy and capital markets. Right now, the capital markets basically are uh, kind of frozen. They have been for a while, though. You know, that's why you haven't seen so many IPOs and all of this, okay? I assure you that our team is working very hard with CIBC, but obviously we cannot speak to when a transaction might take place. Now, here's the, here's the kicker to really answer your question. As of September 30th, 2023, we had a cash position of 4.8 million compared to 6 million at June of 2023. On average, for the full year of 2023, we expect our cash spend to be below 1.5 million per quarter. We understand investors' concerns, but with our current cash and ongoing cost reductions, we believe we have at least three solid quarters of cash with funding options available to us at the appropriate time. I hope this helps for now. I'll follow up with you later uh, and get Fred on with you. So the bottom, when your bottom line is that when you, when you're, when you, you know, basically going through that, you know, Three months is not, I mean, uh, three quarters is not a long time, folks. That's, that's what's going on. Now, the good news is that they don't have any debt. So I suspect when I'm reading through that and they're saying that uh, it, what everyone worries about, of course, is that you worry about a secondary at 30 cents and you get diluted. Okay? So, hey, exploration company is an exploration company. You've got to make your own choice on this thing. But there's no doubt that even with gold moving, you know, gold, if we look at gold, let's look, look at gold here. So we look at gold and, you know, we just moved from what? The 16, what's 18, right? No, the 1600 area, 1600 to uh, 1964. And then, you know, you go over to Vista and it hasn't moved. Yeah, you know, the the key is, you know, hey, we'll see where it shakes out. It's a speculative deal. There's no doubt about that. You know, the last time that it did trade this low, and I showed that before, <laughs> is that then it went to two dollars and ten cents. So it's like okay, and that that has been the high for the last five or six years, the two dollars and ten cents. But it went there from twenty five or twenty eight cents, ASAP. So. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the uh, oil market out here. So we take a look at oil. It's down with 242,000 contracts. You 
Yeah, this is a high volume low that's laying out there at 74. So it, it wants to get out of 74. You can see, that's actually, let's see. You almost got an ABC, yeah, you got an ABC down too. You actually do have an ABC down. Yeah, oil wants lower price. I suspect we'll get some support somewhere around the 72 area. Right now you're trading at 76. We go into the XLE, same setup. You can see the XLE traded out here today to 85, 66, couldn't hold price. You're at the 74 level, 84 level, uh, 84, yeah, that's 74. Sorry about that, folks, that's not even close. Do this. Where am I? Let's go to uh, our man Robert in Kansas City. Robert, what's going on? Hey, good afternoon, Tom. How you doing? Good. Yourself? Good, man. Good. Thanks for the call. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you for taking my call. Can you take a look at crude oil and tell me your thoughts on? Is this, have we just had like a bounce for a couple of days and you see it continuing to decline or what, what are your thoughts on it? I do. I do. Because um, what, what you did here is that you, on, you took out one structure with volume. Yeah, let's just pull this up. You took out this structure right here with volume. That's, that's you know, when you basically broke down with that about a week and a half ago. You know, that was a whole structure. That's jumping the creek down on volume. We had volume there of uh, almost 400,000 contracts, 396,000 contracts. You do a counter trend bounce with 260,000. And yeah, it looks to me like, you know, oil wants to go, you know, 76, you know, 72 is game. That's, that's the next level here. Yeah, let me put this on. CL1, just quickly here. So if we put this on a continuous contract, yeah, the, the, I mean, the bottom, the bottom, it's going to the bottom of the, actually, this is pretty interesting. You know, 72 is the next stop, but if it goes to the bottom of the range, you're talking about 63. Wow. Man. Okay, thank you. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to 11, uh, up to 11. NASDAQ's up 28. S&P's up 13 and a half. And let's go take a look at... Uh, GBTC first for a couple of the tigers. So this is the Bitcoin ETF. Uh, right now it's trading at a 6.75 negative premium. But, you know, that was as high as 30, 35 percent. And that was when the trade was really cool. I mean, because the bottom line is that as it's getting closer, you know, they're suing the SEC right now. And, you know, we'll see how it shakes out. Um, Okay, so let me put this on a weekly for a second. You know, this is not telling me much. It, it, it's, it's coming into a lot of flack right here on the other side, there's no doubt. You know, you're talking about on a monthly, no, on a weekly. Let's look at the monthly for a second. Yeah, on the monthly, you're going to need a lot. Yeah, a lot more volume, which you might get, you know. But the bottom line is right now, I wouldn't be buying that, that's for sure. If we go take a look at uh, one of the gold equities, uh, Anglo Gold, the lows uh, 1493, the highs 30. Next time they come out with numbers, they only come out twice a year. That's going to be February 22nd. You know, this is a good looking stock. That's the bottom line. This is how it trades, too. So, this little baby here, I mean, you. Put this back here for a second. And what you're going to see, it's just in a small consolidation right now. And it, every time it gets down to the bottom of that consolidation, which is about the $13 level, uh, $15 level, rather, then, you know, bottom line tries to make a swing for the high. You know, it hasn't been able to get through ice yet. That's ice right there. You know, but bottom line is that they are pumping some big numbers out. Um, let me let me see what this is saying right now. Yeah, they're looking to do well this year, 4.6 billion, and bring a dollar 31 to the bottom line. And they're still growing in Africa by uh, 11, 12, yeah, almost 11.8 percent per year. So that's definitely a big number, man. There's no doubt. The big, the big number here, and we were talking about this uh, Monday, I believe, or Tuesday, is Harmony. Harmony Gold, and boy, did that come through yesterday. First day, first day when they come out with their numbers, it gapped higher when they come out with the numbers, and yesterday it just went to, went to the moon. In fact, if we take this and put this on a weekly, oh, look at this. I'm going to put this on a monthly. Nice. Look at this. So this, they're coming up to a monster consolidation. Holy cow. And last month, we had a month, yeah, last month we got some volume. We got the same volume. You're going to need it, though. You're going to need it. So at f we're at 537. At 550, you're talking about some monster volume. So... It's going to need more volume, but you take that out, and 
Yeah, this is interesting, man. I mean, look what you have here. You really have a head and shoulders here. Head and shoulders bottom. Look at this. Left shoulder, all in here. Right shoulder, head. And that would price project 243. Let's just say five, three bucks. That'd get you like 850. Let me see where 850 is. What is that? Huh? Gets you over the last swing high. That's saying the thing can climb, man. That's saying that Harmony can definitely climb. It's, it's, in, it's in good shape right there, man. There's no doubt about that. It's definitely in good shape. We gotta take a look at the... Inside the MDX, one second. Let me go inside the MDX again for a second. So inside the MDX, yeah, let's look at JD.com. Because what had happened last night, folks, I'll show you this right now, um, is you had the Hang Sang came off the lows with uh, conviction. It was up 3% last night, and you can see you put the volumes on here. The volumes in Hang Sang are always huge, man. That being said, though, look at look what you did. You know, you can see you get this happening. You're going after the next swing high here. And the Hang Sang, which is going to put juice under all those, you know. Not all the Chinese stocks, but it will certainly will put them in quite a bit. And, you know, we'll see what comes out of this. Uh, you get Biden and uh, Xi that are, you know, making nice out here today. Well, it's good they're making nice. That's the bottom line. Between freaking wars and <laughs> tariffs and all the rest of it. Uh, bottom line, we'll see where it shakes out. Um, and this is a time that when, you know, China's economy needs a boosting. And you can see that the, the, there's going to be a there's, a, there's a, there's a sweet deal, not a sweet deal. It's, it's like one of these deals, okay? So you can see that in China, with them cracking down on, you know, basically corruption, and inside of that, then they're cracking down with folks that, have been making too much money also, okay? The corruption aspect of it, though, is a big deal, folks, because it seems like um, there's quite a, quite a bit of it, meaning in the upper echelons. And so Xi is getting rid of that. But when you crack down on everything, meaning you're cracking down on the housing, first you start with the housing, you start cracking down on everything else. Well, if you want to destroy the economy, it's a good way of doing it. You know, you can, you can crack down on the corruption, but that takes a while. If it, there's not, no such thing as an overnight one, but in China there might be, you know. So people don't worry about putting any money in China. So I suspect between that and, you know, the wars that we got going right now, um, I suspect both cases, meaning our administration as well as their administration, is saying, hey man, okay, let's, you know, cool the rhetoric for a while. Um, it's not going to change. I can tell you that. Not on a long, long-term long basis, China's not going to change, okay? And if they do cool the rhetoric for a while, that's going to be all about just laying low again so they can get their economy going again. You know, stop talking so much about uh, military conflicts and, you know, basically how you're doing business in China. They'll get back to the same old deal that, you know, we can steal some of your secrets, we can do this, we can do that, we'll keep our mouth shut you know, on the, on the rest of this deal, um, you know, because they, they, they need business right now. China definitely needs business. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 162, NASDAQ up 7.5, S&P's up 6.5. We'll come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow Dow Industries right now up 149, NASDAQ up 9, S&P's up 6.5. And, and we're doing that GBTC. So the Security Exchange Commission came out again, just this literally just came across the tape. Um deferring a, a decision on whether to approve the first U.S. exchange-traded uh, fund, uh, meaning an ETF. The prime U.S. Uh, regulator deferred on a filing from Hashdex to convert its existing Bitcoin futures ETF into a spot fund. Uh, the SEC has had until November 17th to respond uh, to the crypto asset manager's uh, application, which was filed in September, the regulator said it is delaying its decision until 2024, a move that had already been done uh, for a number of other ETFs. So the bottom line is that they're still pushing this thing uh, out. What we are going to have, folks, uh, come January is that the CBOE is going to be trading um, futures uh, on spot bit, I believe. It. And I know... I don't know if the CME already does it or not. <coughs> Someone does it. But the bottom line is that, yeah, and these will be cash closed. See, this is what the difference is, too. The Meaning, when you're trading the futures, the bottom line, they can have a cash close on the futures so that you're always, you know, you're either paying cash in or taking cash out, which is a lot easier than doing Bitcoin back and forth. And you, can see, you can see how this works, just in general. Um We'll see where this goes with the GBTC, but right now it looks like the SEC is continuing to push this out. 
Uh, market wise out here, you know, bottom line, you get some follow through, you know, bottom line, you know, S&Ps. The S&Ps actually, we started off the day, well, it depends what time you started your day off actually. Um, but the, S the s and P's, you know, they, they got a high out there at 45, 41. The futures, a low of 45, 10. We're going to lay out here at 45, 17. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks, a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show. Look at him, folks.